So in this session, we'll talk about how we can integrate Salesforce with AWS S3. So when I, when I say I have Salesforce and I have AWS account and I want to integrate both of them. Think a scenario, I have some file or some PDF in my account or contact record. Instead of keeping that in the Salesforce using the storage space, I want to move that file to Amazon S3, AWS S3. So how can we integrate using our API and passing the file from Salesforce to my S3 storage? So think this scenario. So uh, think this is one of my S3 account. Okay, you can see S3 console AWS Amazon.com and this is my Salesforce. Now I think I'm going to add one attachment here. I, this is a small PDF I kept, sample PDF. Okay, and now, now I want this PDF to be moved to my AWS account. So this piece of code I'll write and I'll show you. For now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run a specific program. We'll see what is going to happen. Let's see, I'm just going to run this anonymous window or you can say anonymous code. I click on execute. Okay, now what's going to happen? If I go to here, let me go to my AWS account. So now you can see two we have, I'm going to refresh it. Now you can see this small PDF came here. So we are going to set up an integration between Salesforce and AWS where I can pass uh, PDF file or any type of file from Salesforce to AWS. So now to do this, we are going to follow these few steps in the sense if you see here, uh, I'm going to show you from the scratch how we can set up AWS account, how we can use S3 bucket, like you can create S3 bucket where I'm going to store the files and how am I going to get the access key and secret key from AWS, which I will use to integrate with Salesforce. So in Salesforce, I'm going to set remote site setting and I'm going to write some kind of API connectivity code and that I'm going to show you in the complete session. Stay tuned and see how easily we are going to integrate between Salesforce and AWS S3. Thank you.